what do you mean you're gonna give your this beautiful little child to these strangers the 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 most formidable or, or impressionable years of their lives you, you didn't do a background check on your teachers you mentioned about the prussian model of education which is the mm -hmm. one where they manufacture you basically mm -hmm. you go to 10th grade and then okay. 11th grade you were all in the same we're all in 10th grade algebra mm -hmm. and we're in 10th grade english mm -hmm. then we go to 11th grade algebra and 11th grade english and that model was used for a manufacturing society mm -hmm. so that we could manufacture workers right. and that's why we don't learn things like personal finance we right. don't learn how to trade stocks we don't learn how to build a business when we're in high school because those are, those things are not beneficial to a manufacturing well, economy well that type of information in education is uh given to like private schools ivy league schools excuse me things of that nature but no public school system yeah. well actually there are now right it's like where i live at like everybody i was putting my son in a school it was a private school i wanted to put him in it was like five people in the class i'm like this is perfect but everybody was like yo uh it's a, a school called um indy uh, i'm sorry uni university i is like this shit. It's like one of the top schools in the nation, right? So it's just different out there, you know what I mean? But for the most part, you know, we're looking at the Ward Office uh, Academy, um, Elon Musk Academy. Yeah. Like my daughter goes to one called Wonderstorm, and it's a combination of uh, uh, Montessori and the Ward Office Academy, but she has homeschooling. She does both. And I'm over there with the director. We talk a lot, you know what I'm saying, of, of her school. And I'm making sure the curriculum is what I think should, you know. Yeah. We as men should not be ignorant. We should be, we should have a degree of intellect about us, especially when you start having kids. Yeah. Because what do you mean you're gonna give your, this beautiful little child to these strangers the, the, the most formidable or, or impressionable years of their lives? You, you didn't do a background check on your teachers. They do it on you. Yeah. You're not doing it on them. I'm not giving my children to nobody. Yeah. You know what I mean? It starts home, the foundation of it, and we do a little bit of school here and there for some social interactions, some connections and things like that. But yeah, it, it's people gotta think, right? Well, people need resources for one. Yeah. You know? This country is not set up to help people make money. Right. You know, it's just to keep working, keep working, keep working. You you have the freedom to make money, but you're right. Our education yeah. system is not set up for people you to make money. You do have the freedom. Yeah. You know. Um, that's what I love about this country. Anybody can be anything they want. Yeah. You know, we had a president named Barack Hussein Obama. Obama yeah. We talked about smoking weed and smoking, doing cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He became the president and he black, right? Single mother house. You know what I'm saying? We had grab about a pussy became president. Yeah. I fucks with this shit. I love it. You know, I think that we do need, you know, my little fantasy world, a 10 to 15, maybe 20 year dictatorship is to get shit back streamlined and in order. Yeah, I've, I've thought about that idea. Just pass yeah. everything by fiat for a little while. Just a yeah. minute. Basically you know? becomes Russia for a little while, yeah. Yeah, just to get shit in order. You have to respect Russia. Yeah. You have to respect Putin for what he did to his country because who was it? Um, what was the guy? Was it Gorbachev? No, not Gorbachev. Who was so the guy? Gorbachev, the then Yeltsin, and then, and then Putin. Was Yeltsin the drunk? Yeltsin? Yeah, he did drink. Yeah, yeah he did that, drink. That guy was a joke. Uh, we beat them up. Well, us in Afghanistan, Cold War. Uh, then Yeltsin was just a shit show. Yeah. And Putin, he really got that country back in a in a favorable position for them. Yes. You know? And I respect that. It was I, a major power vacuum and they had some industry. They moved yeah. over more to petroleum and selling weapons and, mm -hmm. then, and things like that. And, you know, caviar and vodka as well. But yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I look to, I don't look at these ideologies that they teach, that they pre, like everything that I've learned, all the programming that we have been programmed yeah. is all wrong. It doesn't benefit us, it benefits them, right? So, and back to what you were saying about that Prussia type school system, yeah. this 200 year old system that hasn't been modified in all of this time, it's like, where's the customization, you know? Yeah, it's because of teachers unions for the most part, they're not gonna allow people to I can to tell it. that you will not thrive in a 30 person classroom. Right, it was hard, it was you very know? difficult. Same yeah. with me. I would fall asleep. I would sit. I wanted to be a good student. See, I've always loved learning. I sit in the front of the classroom intentionally and fall asleep because yeah. it would be so boring. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, this, we know it's not right. And look at, look at where we are now. We're all in spaces where uh, online education is a big thing, right? And like I have people like in my mentorship program that they started make, they wasn't making much money three months in, they're making this kind of money, and it just just follow this playbook, right? People can learn how to make money in less than a year, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and have a little bit of freedom for themselves. But you go through the system, it's silly. Look, what, 
eighth grade year for my son. Um, he's doing the online school because it was COVID, right? Uh, we, I just bought a house in Irvine, but before we moved in, we still at the condo because the internet wasn't set up over there. Sure. So he had to use the internet. So I'm just sitting there so he could finish the class and I'm listening to this idiot teacher in his business class. All the kids I had to give their business proposals, right? And one kid went to open a gym. And the teacher's like, what? You know how much money that would take? And you need a million dollars and all of this bullshit, right? I'm like, it's not necessarily you need that much money, but what if you did? So what? Why are you shitting on this guy's dream? Right? <laughs> I know, right? And what do you know? You're a teacher. Yeah. You work for a high school or, or eighth grade. Yeah. You're, you don't know shit about business other than what you read in some book. Yeah. Look, marketing changes every month. You know what I'm saying? You can't get a four-year degree and think that you know some shit. You got to get out there in the market and learn it. You yeah. know, so people are waking up. People, are, there's a paradigm shift and we're in the middle of it. You know, I see it. I feel it. You know, I think I'm a part of it. I think people like yourself is a part of it, man. So, you know, it's happening. 